Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Quick update on Near Earth Asteroid 2020 SW as today is the 24th and it's coming very close to planet Earth and it may not be alone. Also, we're in the middle of a geomagnetic storm I want to talk about. But first, this photo here was placed on my Facebook community page by Derek N. And Derek, if you happen to be watching, could you send me an email and let me know if this is what you actually saw in the sky or is this some sort of a digital anomaly with the camera. I've never seen a halo shaped like that, so I'm interested to know and maybe see the original unless this is the original. That's quite rare. So if you could, Derek, if you're watching, send me an email to reports at MrMBB333.com. Thank you in advance. Here's the geomagnetic storm I was talking about. KP5, moderate storm, but what's causing that is the interplanetary magnetic field. You can see here at spaceweather.com tilting south and when the door tilts south it opens or it opens the door for solar wind to enter freely and lots of it creating auroras especially in the northern hemisphere up in the arctic and you can see right now um, auroras are very active so if you're an aurora photographer now's a pretty good time i don't know how long it's going to last because the door could close which means it turns back to the north shutting off the direct flow of solar wind. And we've got a coronal hole and a active region turning towards the Earth, and that is a very feisty active region. You got coronal hole there and a larger one up here, so we could see an increase in geomagnetic storms coming up in the future. This has been ongoing for about 24 hours. Um, moderate, but this one here kind of spiked at a, at a KP5, which is definitely respectable. Now to the near-Earth asteroid 2020 SW making its close approach pretty much right now. They found two other ones in the proximity of 2020 SW, not quite as close, 2.4 LD and 1.7 LD. That would be 2020 ST3 and 2020 SN3. And they are on the same general path with the very close approach of 2020 SW. Even though they're a little bit farther apart and they're not quite as big, they're 4 meters. That would be about 12 feet long, about the size of a Suburban um, the 2020 SDW size is about the size of a, of a dump truck. So those are all making a close approach right now as I do this video over the South Pacific. Not a problem. Even if they did enter the atmosphere, the atmosphere would win. Um, it, it's taken on bigger ones. So, But it's just rare that one comes this close. And they found this a few days out, which was quite impressive. But here you can see the, the orbital path right there. All of them are on that same general uh, trajectory right now like I said as I do this video going over the, the South Pacific it was even picked up by a gentleman on a Australia telescope right there it is doesn't look very big but that's pretty close at 0 0.1 that's 26,000 miles um, I may, may be a little closer above the Earth's uh, atmosphere and the gravity of Earth will influence its path just a little bit um, before it goes back out into space. But once again, we're in the middle of a geomagnetic storm right now as the sun is starting to get active. Even though that's not the case for the geomagnetic storm right now, we are seeing an increase in activity on the sun. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.